The next kind of software testing that I want to talk about is integration testing. Integration testing refers to taking multiple software modules that have already been unit tested and testing them in combination with each other. At this point, often, what we're really testing is the interfaces between modules. And the question is, did we define them tightly enough and specify them tightly enough that the different people or the different groups of people implementing the different modules were able to make compatible assumptions, which is necessary for the modules, software modules to all actually work together. And it often turns out that during integration testing, we find substantial differences of assumption that have to be resolved before we can create a reliable integration of the individual parts. And so as a computer science professor, what I find is that groups of students are almost always successful at creating well-tested, reliable software modules, but that separate groups of students who individually create software modules, even when implementing to a fairly tight specification, often create software modules that fail under integration testing. It's really something that's, that's quite a lot harder to do. Coming up with software modules that survive integration testing is really quite a lot harder often than creating reliable small units.